Okay, just going to have a little play with the Pebeo paints here and I'll show you and tell you which one I'm using as I'm doing them and you can see the effects as it's happening. So I'm mixing up the Pebeo Prism Fantasy paint here, giving it a really good mix. This one's been quite well used so I'm going to try and run this one down, finish it off and it's pretty sure that's turquoise, the name's actually been rubbed off it but I think it's turquoise although it doesn't actually look like turquoise but I've noticed that the turquoise blue in these paints doesn't look like what I would call turquoise I always think turquoise is kind of like a greeny blue and I don't think that's very greeny blue so uh, just give it a very good mix so as you can see it's really thick going on and this is the prism so this has that kind of honeycombed effect as it dries this is just wooden spatulas that I'm using to to mix it and they're quite wide so I quite often just break them in two down the middle. I wouldn't recommend it though because you don't want to get scalfs but um, it just uh, makes sense for me but I don't recommend it to to viewers to do that. Sometimes I've used cocktail sticks you don't always get a great purchase to mix it with the, with the cocktail sticks they're just a wee bit too thin but I think sometimes you'll make do with whatever's at hand uh, if you want to get on with a project. I know I do that or else I'd never get started half the time. So that's the, the prism and the bezels. And we'll go on to another colour now. So I'm going to put a wee bit more blue in here. I'm just going to move it around a little bit in some of them. And now I'm going to use some of the Argent Silver Moon Fantasy paint. And this is a, a quite a new one, so it's quite nice and liquefied. And I'm going to put a wee bit right in the middle there. See how that reacts. And in this one I'm going to put it to the side. And across. Not going to use so much in that one. And this one's... Uh, Taking quite a lot, it's come off the spatula, so right, I think that'll do with the silver. I'm 
and I'm going to use some moon gold now another spatula so you can see how it's moving around especially here and the moon tends to want to take over the prism as you can see this is really took over but we can add some more um, and balance things out as as I go along with it I'll sort of review how it's looking they're really good fun to work with these paints they take a couple of days to dry I always let them dry out for a couple of days and they also sink quite a bit as they're drying so you might feel that the bezel the pendant that you've used is quite full with paint but by the time it's dried it's sunk right down and you'll be amazed at just the way it changes as well it becomes quite like sort of hammered looking um, very hard glassy kind of ceramic type effect I think I usually don't use more than four colours in a pendant but it's really up to yourself. A lot of it's trial and error with these kind of paints. You really have to just get a feel for them and work with them and have a play with them for a while. Uh, even now, I, you don't really, well I don't feel like I know exactly what I'm doing with them and I don't know that if you ever do because you the more you use them the more you'll get used to how they they work and react but i think part of this a joy of using them is not known and being surprised by the effects but i'm sure it could also be good to have a better idea of how they're going to turn out but yeah it's just a a fun process so now I'm going to use some of the green vitriol and this is like a, a sort of see-through glass paint uh, so I'm going to see how this comes on and I might add a little bit of lightning to it as well because this paint is meant to be mixed with the lightning and I tend to not use it like that so I should probably have mixed it first with the lightning but I haven't so I'll just try it on the actual pendant on the spots that I've placed it on and see how that goes I'm going to put a wee bit more here and a wee bit more here Right, I'm going to try this light and see how that works. I've just marked it in that so I knew what it was. Right, let's see what happens now if I put some on that spot. Now you see it just goes nice and green because it's so concentrated that the lightning dilutes it. 
I'm not sure how it reacts with the other type paints or if it's even really meant to be mixed with them but I'd imagine that it's it's all right. I'm going to put a bit there because there was some concentrated green there. There's some concentrated green here. Let's try this here. Right, it's looking quite interesting. This one is needing something here. Uh, I don't know if that's what it's needing, but I'm needing to get this green coming out. And that blue's getting almost pushed out the picture but that looks really nice that blue I think I'll add a bit more blue into all of them and I think that'll make a big difference I like this one. I'm actually noticing that the fumes are quite strong so you might want to wear a mask of some sort when you're doing this or make sure there's some ventilation coming in because they can be quite strong and um, put the lids back on. after you've opened them. That's looking really interesting that. Just checking the video was still on there because um, I'm using my phone to make this one. Um, we'll just be finishing off soon anyway, so it was just to let you see them actually being done in the process and for the camera to sort of see how the paints are reacting together. So I think I'll just finish this off now. This one's needing a wee bit in here. Look at that. So thick this one. It's it's almost finished. So it's it's just really became very viscous. That's how you see it. Gloopy is probably a better 
description of it. <gasps> Weeps. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. But I can always add a wee bit green into it. I'm going to add a wee bit of the green, a wee bit of the, the trail in here. Right, and then I might give them a little bit of a twirl about. Let's see. Got a wee cocktail stick here. So these ones I think I might leave. We'll see. I think I'll leave them. It's amazing how they start to change because once you start seeing how that's changing, I don't even know if I'll bother doing anything to that one. Um, and this one. I think I'll leave like that. Yeah, no, I'm going to leave them because... It's amazing how they change. I quite like that one as well. Maybe could have done a wee bit more green there. Well, I'm going to leave them like that and as you can see how they're changing and becoming quite interesting kind of fascinating looking um, and we'll see how they look when they're dry so I hope you enjoyed seeing that process and that was with the prism paints and the, it was just the blue that was prism, all the rest was moon and then we used the vitriol green and the lightning to, to bring out the green. Okay, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please uh, press the like and share and subscribe as well if you would like. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.